Hey guys, and welcome to the Series 14 Autumn Preview Video. Now you might be wondering, what on earth is he on to now? Well, I wanted to show you something first, before we get into everything. As you can see, I'm lined up against the loop-de-loop, -loop, right? And currently, I have on my S2 tune that I've used countless times, uh, this one. As you can see, race tires, race suspension, yada yada, all the bells and whistles. Now, you've seen me do this countless times, but when you do a loop-de-loop, -loop, uh, your ass will sink into the ground and slow you down, big time, like so, right? Now, I was, I've been struggling a little bit with the PR stunt we have to do in autumn, this one, Dragon's Fall Speed Trap, because my personal best prior to me doing a bunch of testing was four, uh, four, seven, eight point something. And we have to, and that was in an X class car. We have to hit 474.8 in an S2. And, well, the problem is that every time you, you go pretty much straight down from here, like vertical, straight down into the ground, and then it levels off. And once it levels off, the ass of the car sinks in, takes about 100 kilometers an hour off, and you got 20 yards until the speed trap. So you're not going to make it, which sucks. Mm-hmm. A lot. Um, so, I did a bunch of testing, and I found something really weird. This tune, Silly Trap. That's the one I'm going to be using on Thursday. I'm going to install that. And I... Let's just make sure that it's actually loaded. You never know. Well, it appears to be... So, what do you think happens now when I do the loop-de-loop, -loop? hmm? What do you think, hmm? Am I going to sink in? No, I'm not. Well, I might be a little bit, but I'm not going to slow down. Uh, let me prove it. Let me show that to you, just to... Yeah, I have to say that, just to annoy point. But watch. Isn't that weird? So, you might ask, ah, well, you probably, oh, well, I don't know, you prob probably beefed up the suspension. Nope. That's not it. On the very contrary. What I did was, I put on rally suspension. The way softer suspension, which now pre uh, prevents the car from sinking into the ground. Apparently the tough suspension allows it to sink in the ground where the soft suspension does not. Ah, you're saying maybe it's the ride height. No, I tried. If you set the road racing ride height to maximum, it still does it. So rally suspension is better. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Anyway, the tune for for the PR stunt, Dragon's Fall Speed Trap, that we have to do is, uh, well, not the usual one, because that would be too easy, apparently. And you don't want to know how long it took me to figure this out. We we were way too long. Um, and you might notice, oh well, it's just like dirt uh, trap. Eh, not exactly. Uh, this has less downforce, and I did fiddle with the suspension a little bit, but I kept the the rally tires on it, Dolphur tires. I did do that anyway because it worked, so I don't dare change anything. There you go, one seven two six two two five zero two, and it will do it. I just set a new personal best, so it will do it. Anyway, we also have a racing event. And this racing event uh, is called Joy 
off cars. Yeah. No, it's not a deja vu. Uh, in fact, all the racing events in this entire series in La La Land are called Joy of Cars. Yeah. Just like the trial in Mexico Land for the entire series, all four weeks is called Bumper to Bumper. Yeah. They couldn't be bothered coming up with four titles. They just came up with one. Anyway, it's S1900, Road Racing, Anything Goes. And uh, we start off here with Dragon's Fall, Speed Circuit, three laps, cloudy, late afternoon. Uh, Nexus Speed Circuit, three laps, clear, morning. And finally, Canyon Loop Speed Sprint, clear, late afternoon. And, yeah, I did... You know, I saved time, and I cheated, sort of, uh, because, la no, this week, goddammit, we used, where is it, there it is, 2013 Ford Shelby GT500, and it has a relatively high top speed, so that's the one I'm going to be using. Also, because I don't really give a shit about this Hot Wheels crap, to be honest. Um... And the tune is going to be exactly the same as the one I used this week. So it's going to be that one. There you go. One, two, four, two, oh, two, seven, four, eight. Now that takes care of La La Land. Let's hurry up and get away from it. Oh, yeah. And by the way, they unfixed La La Land. Yeah. I don't know if you remember this, uh, but... From the moment we had the Hot Wheels thing, up until update 13, mine would say, do you Welcome want back, to... Johnny. Shut up. Do you want to go to Sky Driver's Paradise? Then update 13 hit, and they fixed it. Now it went, do you want to go to Hot Wheels land? Uh, and then update 14 came, and now we're back to Sky Driver's Paradise. Yeah. So, yeah, amazingly, they managed to unfix something. Typical. But anyway, uh, what do we start off with? Well, let's start off with the stupid PR stunts. And do not, I swear to God, do not shoot the messenger. Uh, because you're going to hate this. Speed zone and a danger sign and a drift zone. Yippity doo da. So, uh, let's start off with the danger sign, which is going to be very special. This one, La Mesa danger sign. And you'll notice that my personal best is 317.3 uh, in an X class car. <clears throat> uh, we have to hit 300 meters in an S2998. And once again, the car I'm going to be using is going to be the uh, uh, Jesco. Because, well, uh, where the hell is it? There it is. Because it's the only one that I could get to do it with a bit of margin. Uh, the Mosler will just do it. But it's not quite powerful enough for it. So, uh, the tune I'm going to be using for that is, no, no, yeah, that's one. One, three, eight, six, two, nine, four, one, six. Mm -hmm. And then we have an easy one, very easy one, simple. Punta Allen Speed Zone. Again, S2998, anything goes. Um, this time you have to hit 249.4 kilometers an hour, and I will be using, um, the Mosler for that, because, well, it works. This one. A 2010 Mosler MT900S. And the tune I'm going to be using is... One of these. Uh, well, yeah. No, it's that one. Yeah, 
that one. One two five seven seven three one seven nine. And then we get to the one where please don't shoot the messenger. <clears throat> <sighs> And I am not fond of this one. The last one is the Cara Este Drift Zone. This one. A very long one. Now you'll notice that my personal best is 1,047,000. Right. You have to hit 1 million points. Or twice the requirement for three stars. Yeah. It's it's ridiculous, is what it is. Stupid and ridiculous and fucked up and yeah, I don't want know what to tell you. I'm sorry. It I don't make these uh, PR stunts. If I did, it would not be a million points. But it is one million points in an S two nine nine eight. Anything goes. Yeah, yeah. So. Sorry. Uh, the car I'm going to be using, and I tested this last night, it will do it, is the Dodge Viper SRT 10 Formula Drift, yada, yada, yada. Um, in time, I might find something easier or better or something. I don't think so, because it's not exactly, you know, something I enjoy doing. Uh, but I did run it three times consecutively last night and I got over a million twice on the third time I did it up the mountain and that didn't work but down the mountain yeah I got a million and seven and a million and nine or something like that so it does work uh, but it's not easy uh, some might find this exceptionally easy I am not one of those people at all but there it is, 168-147-718. That takes care of the PR stunts. Mm. You want some more bad news? Oh, I guess we can do that. Uh, no, let, no. Let's start with the trial. The trial, which is called, drum roll please, bumper to bumper is B700 Dirt Racing Anything Goes. Yeah, whoopity doo -da. And the tracks are Mangrove Scramble, three laps, uh, clear, morning, and then Cascada Trail, uh, light rain, early afternoon, and then Kiwahe Scramble, three laps, uh, cloudy post rain, late afternoon. And the car I've selected for that is, well, it was a success a couple of weeks ago, so why not use it again? There it is, the 1965 Mini Cooper S. And yeah, it, it, I, to be honest, I haven't tested, but I know it works. It, it's a fucking insane little car, so I know it works. And well, Come trial time, if we're unable to beat the AI in this, uh, yeah, the, the, the options are very limited, actually. <laughs> but no, this works. I know it does. So there we go. 325-466-833. And then we have uh, an event called... I think... Uh, yeah, H R S P R S. Yeah, that. Which is <coughs> road racing. Yay! In S two nine nine eight hypercars. Whoopity doo da. And we start off here at everybody's favorite Vulcan Sprint. Uh, clear in the morning, followed by. Bahia de Plano circuit, three laps, clear sunrise, and finally Dunas Blancas sprint, cloudy at dawn. And as per usual, pretty much, uh, the car I'm going to be using is 
the Porsche. And scrolling, scrolling. There it is. The and you know, last time I used the Star Wars paint job, so this time it's the yellow belly paint job. The 2014 Porsche 918 Spider. And the tune for that is the same as last time. Same procedure as every year, Mr. James. Uh, or not Mr. James, just James. Yeah, sorry. Um, but I'm boom. Yeah, that one. One seven two three four six three two eight. Uh, so that takes care of that. Then we have another road racing event. We and this one is very interesting um, because B seven hundred road racing with pop up headlights. Yeah. You do, do, go and do a search for that. Um, what I've done is I've run through the garage and sort of uh, picked uh, the ones I know have pop-up headlights. Mm, is it possible that I missed one, two, five? Oh, yeah, definitely possible. But I, I've included a list. It's in the description below the video of all the ones that are in the blueprint. And if you find some that are not in allowed in the blueprint, uh, feel free to not write about it. Because I don't care. I really don't. I mean, I got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 11, 12, 13, 14. I got something like 20 cars or so in the blueprint. If that's not good enough for you to test your own cars, who gives a shit? Make your own blueprint. Right. Moving on. Um, the tracks are as follows. <clears throat> well, when I say the first one is Cathedral Circuit, uh, three laps, clear post rain, so in the wet, in the morning. Can you guess what the next one is? Come on, come on, you know it, say it with me. There we go. Bola Ocho Circuit, three laps, light rain, early afternoon. And the next one? Yeah, yeah you can't guess that one. Hey, Estadio Circuit, three laps, clear post rain, late afternoon. Yeah, so crap followed by crap and crap. Uh, no, it's not that bad, actually. And the car I'm going to be using is... There it is. The 1988 Mitsubishi Starion ESIR. But why? There are... This, that, and the other are much faster, much better, more grippy, just better. Yeah, but this one doesn't have the shitty paint job. Also, we've used this about 50 times by now, and I know it works. So, yeah. Why fix it if it ain't broken? And, well, there are about 8,000 tunes for that. That's nice. There you go, 177201705. End off. And then we have, hang on, let me scroll a bit here. There we go. And then we have a an event called, well, I think it's high low instead of high low. I don't know. H I L O W. It is B700 and it is street scene. Yay! And uh, well, you're limited to the 2003 Nissan Fairlady Z. But the tracks are as follows. Can Cannon Run, or can, uh, whatever, that one. Uh, clear at dawn, and then... Oh, God, I was struggling finding this one as well yesterday. I think it's right over here. Yeah. Castillo del Mar, clear post-rain at night. And then finally back over here coast run light rain in the evening and well the car i'm going to be using for that is well it's a surprise the 2003 nissan fair lady c z c whatever uh quite surprising considering it's the only car allowed 
and the tune for it is that one. There we go. One two nine eight nine zero one one one. And then we have a photo challenge. Photograph the 2017 Ram 2500 Power Wagon at the Sierra Verde Dam. Now, the Sierra Verde Dam is there. That one. And I do believe we had a, had this earlier in some, was an accolade or something, where you have to take a photograph at that dam and it didn't work for half the people who tried. It was brilliant. And then we have some collectibles. Do not stop me now. Oh, God, I swear. Um, yeah. Across the mo uh, Smash 10 donuts across the motorway. So I'm assuming driving up the motorway there are some donuts, or along the motorway there are donuts you have to drive into. Yeah. And then you got the Horizon Arcade minigames. Whoopity doo da. And then you got the Weekly Force Athon. Uh, which is the 2002 BMW M3 GTR. Drive five miles, I've made a track for that, earn a daredevil skill, and earn nine stars of PR stunts. No biggie. Everybody can do that. And that's about it, I think. Yeah. So, um, all the track info and share codes for the tracks and paint jobs and what have you are in the description below, along with a long list of cars with pop-up headlights. And, yeah, if you want to, you can go test your own. Um, yeah, there's no real drama about next week's playlist, to be honest, apart from those PR stunts. There are going to be people that are going to be struggling with those. And to those, I can only say I am sorry. Uh, I, that I would, yeah, I think it's retarded <clears throat> setting the PR bar that high because there are going to be new players who have absolutely no fucking clue as to how to even come close to those. And all I can do is hope they watch my videos or somebody else doing guides, whatever. Anyway. Everything is in the description below. Please remember to like the tracks and especially the paint jobs. And, uh, oh yeah, the tunes. And while you're at it, my video. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.